This video is brought to you through the kind courtesy of Mr. Andre Kaduvan. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to um, show you guys how to install Microsoft Exchange 2010 in this video. So you know, the first thing you might want to do is to check out the Technic library for Microsoft uh, Soft Exchange 2010 Technic library. Yeah, spell exchange wrong. Uh, and you click on this one, I think. Alright, so you know you probably want well to go through all these, right? You know, it shows you like the system requirements, what you need to do before you actually go and install the um so the exchange 2010, you know, stuff like that. And then like probably the deployment stuff that you might be interested in and um like what servers it could work with. Um when I say servers, I mean like um what compatible when I say servers I mean um what operating systems you can install Exchange Server 2010 and stuff like that but um Exchange Server 2010 is a 64-bit um program right so more or less you're gonna need a 64-bit operating system and my advice to you guys is really download um Windows Server 2008 R2 with the um service pack one you will have the least problems with that and also, when you are actually downloading Exchange Server 2010, download the one with the Service Pack 1. It makes life so much easier. Anyway, so to actually get a copy of Exchange Server 2010, you'll just go to um, Google. Watch, I spell Google wrong too. But Bing is pro. It knows what I'm looking for. And um, you look for Microsoft Exchange 2010 service pack one trial microsoft gives you 120 days trial so just click oh no it's not this first one i think there's second one actually no it's the first one let's check the first one download silver 2008 yeah you check this one and you sign in and all that crap and then you just click on download i think you guys don't know what to do from here but so i'll just close this off Ah uh, well, if you guys don't know where to get a copy of Silver R 2008 R2, I suggest you go pirabay.org and just make sure to look for the um, one with the Silver Spark 1 in it. It will just make life so much easier as you will see later on. Okay, so as you can see here, I have my two um, Windows Silver 2008 R2 installed here already. R2 only comes in 64-bit edition, so... And of course, this is um actually my Silver with the Active Directory that I installed earlier. And this is the server that I'm planning to go and install um, Exchange in because well, Microsoft recommends that you do not install them together. What you want to do now is after you actually in, um, download Exchange 2010, you'll want to try and get it to the server, right? Okay, so what you want to do is you just right click here, share folders, add, and mount your, mount your desktop. Well, that's only if you um, install your Exchange in your desktop, then you'll want to mount your desktop. If you install it in the downloads directory, you'll mount it in the downloads directory. So just press OK. And while you can set a read only, this is optional, but it's set a read only. Press OK. And OK. And in order to go back to this now, you just go on this explorer here and go on network. Go on um, VBox server. And you'll see a desktop appear here. And you just want to take the exchange download files, which is this one here. So what you're going to do is right click, copy. And I guess copy to your C drive and paste it. Okay, now if they've copied it, just run it. And it will ask you where you want to um, extract the files and just choose C, it doesn't really matter. You can make an X folder here if you want, but yeah, I'm just gonna choose C. Um okay, so while this is um installing, let's actually go back to our server with our active directory and let's prepare our active directory for um working with exchange. So the first thing you want to do is open a little command prompt. Okay, um, in case you guys didn't know, for this, for this um, Active Directory server here, I have already um, did all this. I have actually in, um, extracted all the files here, the Exchange 2010 files, as you can see here. I've already exchanged it. So, what you want to do is first, you navigate to the directory where your um, Exchange files are. So, you just press CD backslash C. So, you just reach C now. So, you just click on Set Up. Prepare legacy exchange permissions. 
Now we are only going to do this if our existing server infrastructure have um, Exchange 2000 in it. But as you can see, we are doing a fresh installation, so we don't actually need to do this. So the first thing we actually need to do is prepare a schema, which is going to um, prepare our Active Directory, the schema of it. Or in short form, you can just retype slash ps. Okay, so um, the prepare schema is finished. So basically what happened is that um, this setup program basically prepared the Active Directory schema so that now it contains all the classes and attributes required to support Exchange. All right, so the next command we're going to do is set up slash prepare ad slash organization name and you can just put anything here you want let's just say um plus start and just enter so now while, while this um, setup is going through, I want to explain to you what this, this um, command does. Basically, after this command completes, what you will find is that a Microsoft Exchange container is created to hold the details of the organization, from the servers to the databases to the connectors, right? Now, this process also creates universal groups required to manage Exchange and sets the appropriate permissions on objects to allow them to be managed. So again, I'm going to pause this video until um, the setup has finished. Um, okay, so um, as you can see here, the installation has finished. So now the last thing we need to do now is to prepare every domain that will contain an Exchange server or an Outlook client by running the um, Exchange Setup program with the prepare domain switch. So setup slash prepare domain or um, if you have more than one domain you can just press um, prepare all domain domains but um, we only have one domain right now so I guess that um, prepare domain will work just fine okay. and again setup will continue and again I'm also going to pause this video till this finishes Okay, so the setup was finished. So what you can do now, you can just close this window. And also close this. Now what you want to do is you want to um, make sure that this um server here with the Active Directory can communicate with the server that I'm going to install Exchange on, which is this one. So now again we do this as I showed you in prior videos. Open on network, okay. And you do the same for here, network adapters internal network okay um you just want to set a please set a static ip for your active directory as you can see here and you want to do the same for the arm um, server you want to install exchange on I'm going to point in default give it to the um, IP of the server container in my Active Directory. Same thing for the DNS server. Okay, okay. Now, the next thing you want to do is, I guess, is actually join um, this server to the domain. So again, you can just right click on Computer and Properties, Change Settings, Change. And use another computer name that is a bit more intuitive. So I'll just call this Exchange server. I'll make it part of the domain. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to restart the computer. Yeah, just restart. But I'm going to restart later because um, I want to actually show you guys that before you actually install the Exchange 2010, the system requirements. Now, when I first install it, I use um, the default settings. Well, not really default settings, but I use one gig of RAM and one processor and that wasn't really enough to actually um, allow things to run smoothly after Exchange was um, installed. So what I suggest you guys do is actually change the settings. So you just go on settings of the Exchange server. And then the system, try to allocate two processors to it. And in terms of base memory, I suggest you guys place it about 1.5 gig or 1.25 gig it doesn't matter but anything that is more than one gig because um again after i install my silver it consumed just about 800 to one gigabyte of ram so i just set this as 1512 megabytes of ram and again two two cores 
for the processor itself. Press OK and I'm gonna start it back. My exchange server. Okay, so back on our um, extreme server, we can just switch user and log into our domain. Login as someone with privileges. 